Today we're gonna be covering gold-plated dumbbells that are over $100,000. Make sure you guys stick around to see the number one most expensive piece of equipment. Coming in at number 10, super fast swim trunks, $359. Now, unless this piece of equipment can actually swim on its own, I don't see where the price point comes from. Leggings, $1,500 leggings, completely overpriced. I don't see how these things sell. Number eight, we got the Proform TDF for $3,000. Oh, you're gonna put a little bit of Tour de France shit on there and I'm supposed to fall for this? They don't even have pre-planned workouts on there. That's mandatory. Everyone's doing that these days. Coming in at number seven, the Espresso Fitness S3U Novo, $5,800. Now, what's the catch with the Espresso? Let's take a deeper dive. You have to steer the handlebars. You get to steer the handlebars. I'm sold. You can play different games. I um, love just that. Just make it fun and make exercise less boring because exercise is boring for most people. It is. For the average Joe, it is boring. I love exercising, but even me from time to time, you know, during the middle of the week, I'm already like, I'm over this. Where's the fried dumplings? Number six, we have the Cervelo S5 for $12,500. Now that's a steep jump from seven to six. That's an expensive bike. I actually wanna get into biking. Why do I wanna get into biking? Well, I'll tell you why. Lower back, trash, knees, garbage. Hotel, Trivago. I used to run tons of miles and it's becoming harder day by day. So Cervelo, I might be giving you a call very soon. Number five, the quick gym range of motion, baby. ROM stands for range of motion, ladies and gentlemen. Now this machine is $15,000. It's a four minute workout, but spoiler alert, it's gonna take 224 years to assemble. Pedals and your shoes impact only the mat, not your floor. Oh, so considerate. It comes with a mat. For $12,500, we'll supply you with a thin, thin, cheap rubber mat. Set the computer to L01 for the lower body workout or UP1 for the upper body workout. You need to be an engineer to figure this out. Locate your height and place the handle in the appropriate slot. There are four possible settings ranging from under five foot seven. Bro, I'm paying you 20 racks. Do it for me. Find your weight and move the slide so that level. Why is everything so manual? You're charging me 15.5. I'm sliding scales. I'm pulling up levers. You got to have a four year degree just to understand this stuff. If you are significantly overweight, you if you're significantly overweight, then you certainly need this. So definitely buy it. But also you're going to have to pull the lever even further beyond the normal point. What the hell? What's going on? You need to live in a duplex to be able to fit this thing. You need lofted ceilings. You know, you can just get a rower, right? What may look like an ordinary rowing motion is actually much more complex. Oh, that's what it is. He got home from the office. He said, babe, I don't have time to change. I got to get to my quick rom rom machine situation. She's working out in jeans. These individuals will spend $15,500 on a piece of equipment. They won't go through the work and effort to actually change into workout clothing. Coming in at number four, we have the Hypoxy Trainer. $56,000. The Hypoxy Trainers was developed by Dr. Norbert Egger in the 1900s. That's not how you end the sentence. Look at this thing. You can't put this in your house, that's for sure. It's all a vacuum chamber, so it's going to help improve circulation. And okay. anybody has bad circulation in their legs, they're really focusing on the hips and thighs. It's a wonderful machine. It's also great for a lot of our entry level. Maybe it is worth the money. I have the Air Boots, the Normatec Air Boots. You put them on, and they're great for circulation. They inflate and squeeze on your legs, ankles, hips, things like that, and then it helps promote healing because of the increased blood flow. Now, increasing circulation is important, but is it worth 56K? I mean, that's a discussion for another situation of life. That's a lot of money. Number three. Now, I remember this one because this was popular amongst many celebrities, and we'll talk about that in a second. The Vibro Gym Diamond, $70,000, dotted with 65,000 Swarovski crystals. It is made in Germany and is a perfect fitness equipment in present time. Now, what else is Germany known for? What else? Answer me in the comments. What's Germany really? really known for fitness equipment or oh coming in with the early 90s kind of oh. <laughs> so unrelated why 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 are you showing me astronauts and then show me the logo again. No, you're not charging me for that. No. Yo, if you guys remember copping that VHS or maybe DVDs, right?
and you're waiting for your main attraction to come up, but they always show previews of upcoming film releases. Well, they would usually show these PC video games with these outdated sort of triangular graphics, really pixeled, and these are the graphics. This is what you would show. It would have like a giant ship shooting down a bunch of other ships and things of that nature. This is the kind of graphics you were seeing, like super outdated graphics. The echo. Whole body vibration, vibration, vibration. Stretch your hammies, your hammies, your hammies. It only cost you $65,000. And they showed the logo again. Show it once. Don't show it seven times within the span of a minute and 14 second video. Ah, then show me a stock image of a random model. And then show me the image again. And then show me another stock image. Health and beauty, just words. Anti-aging. A business sport. What are you saying? This is a business sport. That's th those two words don't go together. Or you can move forward and be more forward on the Vibro Gym itself. You can move forward and be more forward on the Vibro Gym itself. If you want to challenge yourself, if you're up to the stage where you are advanced. Now, what is the point of the vibration? That's my question. Does it give you more definition in your muscles? Does it make you a better athlete? Does it increase strength and balance? I don't understand the point of the vibration, is basically what I'm saying. Number two. Two, hot gold lofts, 18 karat golden dumbbells, $108,000 for this. Undoubtedly, it will be an asset to your private gym as well as a rare collection to have. Now, I can see it as a collection. No one's working out with $108,000 dumbbells. They're literally one pound dumbbells. It's more wood than gold. Is wood underneath the gold plating. Is it worth $108,000? Eek, man. It could be used as a mirror. Is that worth $108,000? Now we're talking. <laughs> I don't know what any of that means. But I do get the top. The top means this is the one of 50. So there's only 50 of these made. Oh, wow. Those are not worth that amount of money. Just because you put gold on something doesn't mean it's worth it. You know, humans are so, so strange. We put these illustrious price tags on things that are really meaningless. Gold. Like, we define the meaning of gold. We define the meaning of platinum. Uh, why is it more expensive than steel, for instance? Because we're just monkeys and we love shiny things, right? Look at the guy in the mirror. So creepy. So creepy. Look at him. Um, He's watching her. Say the right things. Make sure you sell these fuckers because we have about 50 to sell. Wait, why do they what, they get together and like talk about it? Could look at these gold, these gold dumbbells. Do you want them? Do you want them? The idea was just- Ma, in the background. Don't listen to anything this guy's saying. Just look in the background. To, to make a dumbbell from, and this is gold. And if you don't care about whatever price is, you would just take gold because it's very heavy and it's very valuable. And it it's very heavy. You can make any metal weigh whatever you want it to weigh. Put on a tie as well. Don't, you're too casual to be selling $108,000 dumbbells. Do at least button the top button for God's sakes. Without further ado, you stuck around to the end. Number one, the Carl Lagerfeld Louis Vuitton punching bag, $175,000. Now, I couldn't find anything on this exclusive piece of equipment, nothing. And whoever bought this did not want to put it out to the world now i found the gloves javante davis he's a great boxer tank is his nickname he owns a pair of louis vuitton boxing gloves there's a few other boxers probably that have it as well now is this worth $175,000? Absolutely not. We are crazy super chimps and we give value to the most silly, silly things. And society has created this situation, like I've said before that. Now, if you have the money to cop these kinds of items, I'm not gonna judge you for getting it because your circumstances are different than mine. My circumstances are different from the next person. But to get $175,000, it's not gonna make you a better boxer. It's definitely not gonna get you any respect from any legitimate martial artist or boxer. If I see you hitting a Louis Vuitton bag, first of all, I'm gonna stop you because it's too expensive to be hitting. But then number two, I'm gonna say, you know why? Everlast will do. You know, when you come up in boxing gyms, and I know a lot of you guys have boxed in the past as well, chances are the bags are ripped and there's duct tape all around the bags to hold it together. And the best bags are the most worn out fitted bags. You gotta live in the bag. Like you wear a pair of sneakers, it's uncomfortable the first week, you gotta live in it. You can't even live in this punching bag because it's too damn expensive. You can't even hit the damn thing. And let me know, would you buy any of these items if you had the money? Or if you do have the money, do you consider buying any of these? These items. As always, Strangle Gang, I appreciate the support. The channel has been doing well thanks to all the views. Now, make sure you subscribe if you haven't and turn on post notifications so you can stay up to date on the videos that I post. Have a fantastic day or night, and I'll see you guys in the next one.